everybody. Good morning from Jeff's Little Engine Service. Have you ever wondered how to sharpen a lawnmower blade? Well, I'm going to show you. This is a newer Troy built lawnmower, and it's either a Honda or a Kohler engine. I'll show you how to take the blade off and sharpen it. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it up on this block of wood here, make it a little easier to get, get the things underneath. And you can see what we need to do is remove that bolt there, which is a 5 8 If you're going to use an old-fashioned socket, you're going to need a block of wood here to wedge up uh, between the blade and the deck to prevent the blade from spinning. I, however, am going to use uh, this pneumatic wrench. Yeah, and check out how easy it is with the pneumatic wrench. Thing just spins right off. It can be a real pain in the butt if you're using an old-fashioned socket. There we go. And as you can see, the condition of the blade here, um, pretty rough shape. So I'm going to show you all how to get an edge back on this bad boy. So I'm going to use a grinding wheel. You can see my wheel's about worn out. I have a new one there, I just haven't put it on yet. But I want to show you the uh, the steps I go through. Yeah, check out all those spark plugs, folks. That's a couple years worth of spark plugs there, five gallon bucket full. Anyways, um, I'll show you how I do this. Well, the first thing I want to do is buzz off some of this edge here to get some of those chips out of there. Now, don't mind the telephone. We don't answer that anymore. So yeah, I, I buzzed off some of the, um, I filed off some of the uh, chips here, but don't focus all your attention on removing every little chip here. Just get a nice, somewhat flat edge. Um, as you can see, you know, it's not perfect, but it's something we can work with. Um, after you buzz off that front side, you're going to want to, um, on the bottom of the blade here, you'll want to gr grind off some of these um, chips and you put it on the wheel flat when you're working the bottom of the blade. And I think that's pretty good um, for the bottom. And now uh, the important part is getting the angle on the blade and pretty much you want to position the blade at about as sharp of an angle as you can and you grind it repeatedly down uh, until you get a good angle. As you can see, we're already starting to get a pretty good angle there. Um, you want about, what, a quarter inch, I guess, of blade. Um, and if you noticed, I was running it across the grinder pretty slow. With these mulching blades that are bent like this, a lot of times you just need to focus your sharpening on uh, this part of the blade, um, as this part, the inner part, seems to remain somewhat sharp. Um, but I'll want to go over that as well, but it doesn't usually suffer as much as this part of the blade. So I'm going to continue to work on that angle. A couple more grinds here.
once you start getting a pretty good angle here, um, you won't be holding it at such an angle because um, you'll be working on the, the finish edge, not so much this back side. So you uh, drop the angle a little bit and run it a couple times across to get the edge. So as far as that edge is involved, uh, as far as this side goes, it's starting to look pretty sharp to me. Um, I'm going to finish off this on with a hand file. I'll finish it off with a hand file to get the angle uh, equal, if you know what I mean. But you can see we're good and sharp here. We're good and sharp at the bend. A lot of times you have to kind of focus on that little bend area there too. But I'm going to go ahead and finish up the other side here, and then I'm going to attach it into my vise and show you how I finish it with my hand file. So this side came out pretty good too, but I'm going to finish it on my uh, bench, my bench vise here. Sorry about the mess, folks. It's been a busy summer. Anyways, so, yeah, check that out. I got a new vise, much better one. I just haven't installed it yet. So you want to put the blade into your vise. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty stoked about opening my new package of files here from Grip Tools. Tools that mean business. So now, oh, this is a good file, man. And I just wanna keep the same angle to smooth out that edge so it's not a different uh, angle. So it's one angle. Nah, I don't mind that telephone. That thing rings all the time. Oh, yeah, that's really coming out nice. I don't know if you can see that, but that that's a good edge. I'm happy with that. We're not working on the space shuttle here. And time to do this side. 
Now we did take off quite a bit of material on this blade, so it will need to be balanced. So basically with the grinder you just kind of rough the blade down somewhat sharp. And then with the hand file you can finish that edge off as sharp as you want. But keep in mind, it's just a lawn mower. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with these edges, how they came out. You can see there's still some signs of where a chip was, but you know what, this, this blade is sharp. And as I mentioned, it looks like I could work on that little chink a little bit more, but I think it's fine. And as I mentioned, you should balance it. I'm just going to do a quick balance here. Um, so you should probably clean the blade off completely to get a good balance, but uh, it's clean enough. Anyway, so yeah, uh, so definitely it looks like we're a little heavy on this side. <clears throat> get a little better angle for you. See how the blade's tilted to that side? You want to make sure it's perfectly centered. But yeah, it's definitely heavy on that that end. So we need to take a little bit more off of that left side there. So I took a little bit of metal off of this side of the blade. Now it balances pretty well. Um, I took it off of right here and I took a little off of that side but that's how you balance might might still be a little heavy on that left side so I'll take a little little bit more off and then it'll be perfect and we will reinstall it okay so we put this back together I'm gonna set the camera down hopefully I get a good angle for you all want to make sure you put the blade on the proper way, not upside down. I see a lot of blades that are on upside down. And you can see this pattern here and these two little holes need to mount up. You need to match them up with these, otherwise your blade will be crooked. Also, this washer here, they call it a washer, has to be um, in the holes as well. It has little dowels that need to go into the holes. Back to my pneumatic. Okay, so we are ready to test this baby out, make sure there's no vibrations. So the first thing I want to do is um, buzz the bottom side of it to, uh, now I'll show you. 